But first tonight, the city of Indianola is now rethinking its use of Native American imagery. The Indianola City Council is meeting right now to talk about the issue. KCCI's Chris Gothner went to Indianola and found out why some folks there are calling for change. Amid a national debate over the use of native imagery both in and out of sports, the city of Indianola is discussing its use of this logo. The so-called Indian Head logo is used by Indianola's police department and its use is up for discussion among the city council. Resident Deb Sheil Larson is calling for its removal spurred by a recent conversation with friends. And our Ojibwe friend said, I'm not coming. I wouldn't come anyway, and I'm not going to visit you in Indianola anymore. I don't feel welcome. This week, Washington's NFL team announced it would change its name from a term many see as a racial slur. The larger issue has long roots here in Iowa and particularly Indianola. Back in 2011, the state's Commission on Native American Affairs called the use of Native American symbols or likenesses, quote, degrading to our culture and our people. All the way back in 1992, Simpson College dropped the Red Men name from its sports team, citing native stereotypes. Later, Sheil Larson was part of the discussion when Indianola schools removed their Indian head mascot, but retained the Indian's name. When you create a mascot that is a person, um, you lock them into stereotypes. Indianola Mayor Kelly Shaw says he sees both sides. I've talked to the police, some of the police folks. Uh, it is. Uh, badge of honor really in their mind in terms of what it represents. But Shaw says even if it's offensive to a few, that's probably too many. Calling this a needed conversation as Indianola discusses its overall approach to racial equity. I think it's certainly a good time to have that discussion and that dialogue. Um, it's probably past time in that regard. In Indianola, Chris Gothner, KCCI 8 News, Iowa's News Leader. In June, the Native American group Great Plains Action Society called on Iowa schools to stop using Native American imagery. KCCI contacted that organization today for comment. We have not heard back. We will have more from tonight's Indianola Council meeting on KCCI 8 News at 10.